And just like that, Jocelyn is in jail. Um, I did the previous video last late last night about her getting into the brawl with Lex and all her friends jumping Lex and all that happening. And I was talking about how I just wanted Jocelyn to break the cycle. And clearly, the cycle is going to keep going for her. She is now in jail and she's hit with multiple charges, including battery, domestic violence, trespassing, unoccupied structures, and a few different things that they said on there. Um, but now she has to deal with that. And it's just crazy to me that she put herself in this predicament. Now, I know um, some people were saying like Lex was doing things and, and threatening to come to Jocelyn's house and doing all that stuff. And I totally understand that because, for one, I'm not even a fan of Lex. I am not a fan of Lex at all. I didn't even enjoy when her and Megan had their fight. I wanted Megan to win. <laughs> but I'm not a big fan of her at all. And um, I understand the altercation was between both of them. What I don't like is that Jocelyn is perfectly capable of fighting and defending herself. I think after all these years of seeing her on television, we know Jocelyn can throw down and she used to be in the strip club, okay? And we know strippers can tear somebody up. That is not the issue. The issue is that it was Jocelyn and Melissa who are, even though Melissa is masculine, Melissa is a woman too. Jocelyn and Melissa are women. Why did if there's two women there and Lex came to fight Jocelyn, and why couldn't the women just get into the altercation with her? Why did Ballistic have to be physical? Why did the guy, I think they were saying he was like a gay guy, why would he have to get physical and be jumping? Um, I think there was another guy. So why are all these guys hitting this woman when there's a perfectly capable woman, Jocelyn, who looks very strong, right there who can handle it herself that's why it's disturbing and that's why i don't like it i don't have an issue with jocelyn whooping her but i think uh one-on-one -on -one, in my opinion i think jocelyn would have won anyway <laughs> so <laughs> i don't think the jumping was necessary and look at her after being jumped she was destroyed and that's disturbing even if she was talking junk her and jocelyn could have just went at it themselves in my opinion even though i don't believe in violence or condone violence at all i don't even think jocelyn should have even been in this mess to begin with but if you are that type of person and you are going to be physical I don't understand why Jocelyn as a woman couldn't just fight the other woman. Why she had all these men jumping in too. And even when that random girl threw a drink on... Well, actually, Jocelyn hit the random girl in the back of the head. And the girl wasn't even paying no attention to her. She hit her in the back of the head. And the girl threw the drink on her. And rightfully so. But then the girl starts walking away. And Melissa and a guy starts hitting the woman so the guys again are hitting on these women when if jocelyn wanted to handle that she could have handled that as well so i don't know i don't understand it but now jocelyn is in jail um the bond is still being determined so i think they are going to give her a bond they we just don't know the amount yet um most likely she'll post bond and get released but she will still have a court date and we won't know what the consequences will be until that court date. So, yeah. And the saddest part about this whole thing is that y'all don't really want Jocelyn to change. Most of the people who are like big fans of her or think it's cute and funny laughing. Yeah, it's a little funny. We laughing and stuff. But this is really her real life, y'all. And like, I think a lot of the people just want her for like a show pony for entertainment and funny purposes. But, you know... I really wanted Jocelyn to, like, step into that new phase of her life like she was saying she wanted to. I, w I care more about her well-being than, like, the entertainment. Because after the entertainment is done, it's like you still got to be a person at the end of the day. And so I really wanted Jocelyn to step into that soberness, step into, like, that she was speaking about and saying she wanted. And stepping more into that mother role like she was trying to show and her new relationship, you know, she was trying to make it seem like it was healthy. Like, I feel like I want to see Jocelyn in a more positive light and I want to see Jocelyn do more positive things. I'm sick of seeing her allegedly, you know, on drug binges and fighting any and everybody that she sees. This has happened too many times. I want to see her do better. I think there's some people who want to, but I think most people just want her to keep acting a fool. And so that's really 
what it's all about, um, in my opinion. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this situation and what you think about Jocelyn. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.